the strategies adopted in two state model may not work well in the real world say for one year model because in real there are more than many possibilities that stock prices can take other values now to overcome this difficulty the black scholl or the bs model well serves the purpose because through this model the possibilities of multiple values can be reduced as this bs model helps in shorten the period this black school model has a insight back because uh it shortens the period involved in the strategies as the stock price changes over first instant another combination of the stock and borrowing needs to duplicate the call over the second instant and it goes on now adjusting the combination from moment to moment can continually duplicate the call the basic in or fundamental intuition behind in the bs model is that it helps in determining the duplicating combination at any moment and then it helps in valuing the option based on this duplicating strategy uh in bs model there are certain variables in the quant in a quantitative formulation uh where the in the model s stands for the current stock price e is the exercise price of the call and r is the annual risk free of rate and that is continuously compounding uh, sig for sigma square it is the variance per year in the uh, return of the stock and t is the time in years to expiry then we have other two variables del d1 or the delta and the d2 additionally there is a statistical uh variable that is in d this states the possibility that a standardized normally distributed random variable will be less than or equal to d now to understand the bs model we have an example uh, at the time 0 of october 4 uh, the call option of april 49 has a value of a, a price of dollar 4 now we assume that the stock price at time 0 is 0 and the stock price is $50 exercise price is $49 risk free rate is 7% this call has 199 days to expire or the maturity date is 21st april of the year 1 the time to maturity in terms of ratio to the year is 199 over 365 so this is equal to the variable t the variance or the sigma square is 0.09 per year then using these variables we can determine the value of this call with the help of the bs formula now this bs formula works in three steps at first step we need to determine the value of d1 and dq then we need to determine the value of nd1 and nd2 and in the last step we need to determine the value of the call step 1 calculate the value of d1 and d2 now putting the values of variables relating to d1 we uh, compute the value as 0.3742 and using this value of d1 in the model of d2 we can determine the value of d2 which is 1.1527 uh, and in the se second step now we need to determine the value of n d1 and n d2 these two values can be found using the functions of normality distribution through the help of excel 
and using this function we have the value of nd1 equal to 0.6459 and the value of nd2 as 0 0.5607 and at the step 3 using these variables we can determine the value of a call through the model of bs and the value of call is 5.85 dollars the intuition from bs formula is that that the value of call uh, is basically the value of the a uh, call value or in which we have a stock price to multiply with the delta and getting the value deducted from our borrowing gives the value of call that is the intuition behind the value of the black scroll model uh, we see the that in our model the value of n is equal to the value of d1 which is equal to basically delta and it is 0.645 this delta states that we need to buy almost 65 percent of the share of the stock and to duplicate the call then we need to borrow an amount equal to 26.45 dollars so this way we can duplicate the call